Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. There is a video that's going viral right now on social media. I think it has been sent to me on every single social media platform. And I think I have interacted with it on every single social media platform. And it's so weird, so it just has to be discussed. But there is a bigger story here that I want to talk about as well. But the long and short of it is, and I was not intending to make a pun, that's just actually what I wanted to say. The short kings are fed up with the disrespect. And one of them is making a change physically, but I do think that this says a lot about our culture that is so driven by outward beauty, so that is what we're going to talk about today. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. Alrighty, so here's the video. Let's just take a gander. You probably all have seen it because it was a couple of days ago. So that was a man getting limb lengthening surgery. He went from five, five to six feet. They put stints in his legs. This on Twitter has 69.6 million views. Like, I get wanting to be taller. I get it. When I was younger, I wanted to be six feet tall because all my brothers are over six feet. I get it. I would never lengthen my, that's just, it's insane. Somebody commented and said, they out here getting knee BLs. Men used to go to war. It's true though. Like bro, like his upper body looked jacked. He was obviously working out. So you like saw this like sick gym video. Yeah, you know, getting a pump on. And then he can barely walk because he has metal rods in his legs. I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. He's growing artificial bone that's so weak. It's like, dude, one misstep, you're gonna freaking break your whole limb. Somebody said all of that's just put six feet on a dating profile. Man, your Tinder profile better be lit after this, dude. One person said, is it really worth it? And then posted a screenshot of the apparent side effects of getting the surgery, which is nerve damage, muscle damage, joint contracture, dislocations, and arthritis. No, it's not worth it. Somebody said, let him miss a stare and it's a wrap. <gasps> But there were a lot of dudes in the comments that were actually interested in it and were like, I had no idea this was a thing. Like, how do you do this? Where do you go for this? Which made me think of something that's a lot bigger because obviously, like I said, almost 70 million views on one platform alone and that's just one version of the video. But people are freaking out about this man making cosmetic changes to his body. Like, this is so shocking. This is so crazy. But this happens every day for women. Women are constantly doing this. Maybe not, you know, lengthening their legs, but going to extremes to artificially change their bodies. Like, my social media accounts are flooded with women getting plastic surgery and altering the way that they look and they're getting these procedures younger and younger and it's just become commonplace. There's no 70 million views over a girl getting some, you know, crazy BBL or boob job saying, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing this. Do you, do you know the side effects of, you know, getting silicone implants into your boobs? No, it's like, oh my God, yes, queen, this is so amazing. It's like, what's the difference? Like, do we want people to artificially change their bodies or not? It's a weird double standard between men and women, I guess. But the thing that shocks me the most is how young these procedures are happening for women. And that's kind of what I want to hone in on here because it reminded me of all of this, but just like look at some of these videos. So obviously that is not as extreme as limb lengthening, but like getting Botox at age 19. Here's another one. More Botox. Okay, I started Botox when I was 19 because like I just wanted to. <laughs> It's all preventative, and I just like, I prefer to have my face super tight. So let's just get preventative plastic cosmetic procedures right away at 19. Like, oh my God. You had a boob job when you were 15. Who are your parents? Why do people think that this is okay? Girls who get Botox in their 20s More are winning, Botox. and here's why. The most common thing I hear people say is, oh, why are you adding that to your- there's Botox is such a huge thing on TikTok right now. And again, I'm acknowledging that it's not as extreme as limb lengthening, but everybody freaking out about that video in the comments. I was like, have you literally not even spent five minutes on a girl's for you page on TikTok? Because it's all of this and it's just so normal. Back at it again with the lip flips, but my haters won't come for my gummy smile like the bullies did in third grade. And it's not just on TikTok. This is a well-documented epidemic, if you want to call it. Somebody said tweak mints and Botox, the Gen Z plastic surgery craze. 
disease from peer pressure to plastic surgery why more and more teens may be opting to go under the knife again not just botox gen z's obsession with plastic surgery hits new highs experts report spike in clients under 30 gen z plastic surgery craze hits all-time high i want to feel pretty again like it's so sad these people aren't even 25 years old and they're injecting themselves with toxins getting boob jobs Ooh, you know let me get some lipos what why? I know why it's happening. That's kind of a rhetorical statement. I mean, social media, peer pressure, looking at people online, but just in general, young people, my generation especially, are so unhappy in the bodies that they were born into and so uncomfortable that before they even reach maturity, before they even, you know, make it through the weird teen years, the uncomfortable college years, they're altering it because, it, oh, it's so bad right now. Like, I promise it gets better. I'm only 21 and I have started to see the other side. Like, I hated my nose for a really long time. I hated the way I looked. I thought I was too tall, too skinny. I didn't have enough boobs. Like, I'm just, I, I was a normal teenage girl. You make it through, it gets better. We don't all need to be going and getting plastic surgery before your brain fully develops. I think that's the main point here. We have some stats here for one of these articles. According to the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery, Gen Z is booking cosmetic procedures at higher rates than before, and 70% of surgeons in the U.S. said that they saw a spike in clients under the age of 30 in 2022. More than 80% of the total number of procedures performed in 2022 were minimally invasive, the Academy said, with the remaining 18% being surgical. Top three treatments were neurotoxins like Botox, fillers, and topicals, while the top surgical procedures were facelifts, eyelid reductions, and rhinoplasties, nose jobs. The data is American, but the trend is taking hold in Canada too. And many people rightfully and obviously believe that this is because of peer pressure and the unattainable beauty standards that they see on social media. And guys, they are unattainable because everybody's getting plastic surgery. If you see somebody online, you're like, oh my God, why did, how does she look like that? I Nine times out of 10 these days, it's very sad, but it's because of plastic surgery. If you're wondering why your natural body does not look like that, number one, because everybody is built different. Number two, because people go under the knife like no other these days. Another article said, uh, but the time spent plugged in comes at a cost, especially to those who regularly create content. TikToker Eli Rallo, she's the one that we saw doing the lip flip, said that being chronically online made her more self-conscious as cruel viewers scrutinize her insecurities, namely her gummy smile. Quote, I started doing TikTok and people just started getting so f***ing mean to me about my smile to the point where I stopped smiling in pictures altogether. I decided to get the lip flip because I couldn't deal with it anymore. Additionally, a lot of these, you know, it girls online and the big content creators on apps like TikTok have gotten a ton of cosmetic procedures and are very open about it, like Eli Rallo and Alex Earl, who we have talked about before. Here she is as a reminder. Alex has, you know, fake dyed hair, Botox skin, plumped lips, a boob job, but people love her because she's open and honest about all of that, which is kind of new because prior to, I think, this era, like with the Kardashians and the celebrities of like 10 years ago, everybody was super quiet about plastic surgery. It's like, no, I, I didn't get, I didn't get any plastic surgery. It's like, no, bullshit. You absolutely did. These days, everybody's just talking very openly about it, which I guess is good because we're not lying. But I also see this as being harmful for young viewers who are watching these kinds of procedures become normal. Like here, Alex is talking about her boob job. Get ready with me to celebrate my boob anniversary. So I got my breast augmentation one year ago today. And I always get a lot of questions on it, so I'm going to walk you guys through everything. I always knew this was something I was interested in because I would be little and like looking up like growth supplements for your boobs. I literally would take little gummy bears when I would be in high school and be like, maybe my boobs will be a double D. I would always talk about it to my parents and they'd be like, Alex, shut up. So I was like, if I save up money and do it myself, like there's nothing you can really do about that. She talks about it a lot, very openly. And people like her videos. And I've talked about this before because it's very much like you're on FaceTime with a friend. It's very conversational. It's like, oh, let me just tell you exactly what happened. There's no like gatekeeping with anything she's done. And again, it's nice that she's being honest, but I also don't think it's the healthiest thing. Like, sure, it's good that she's honest about it so people aren't confused as to why they do not look like a perfect Barbie with the perfect lips and the perfect boobs and everything. But this causes major insecurities for young women. Like I've said it before, but I almost got a nose job at the end of high school. I hated my nose so much growing up. I thought it was way too big for my face. I had friends like elementary school through middle school who'd come up to me like, oh, you have a boobable nose and would literally like hit me in the face with my nose and that kind of thing. But I knew that I could get it fixed relatively easily and get this kind of, you know, ski slope nose. I'm like, oh, I'd be so cute. That's what I always wanted. And I'm so glad that I didn't. I'm so glad I didn't. I love my nose now, but I would be walking around with this fake piece of me. Is this really the message that we want to be sending to young people? That if you don't like the body that you were born into, that you can just change everything about yourself to make yourself feel more whole artificially. Like rather than working on your inner confidence and you know allowing yourself to grow up and mature fully and allow your brain to develop, allow your body to literally grow into all of your limbs, rather than just waiting, just change it. 
like working on your confidence and working you know, on your personality and just, you know, the things you were born with, like that will benefit you more in the long run. I guarantee you will be happier. And many people have similar sentiments online, especially men. So remember that, ladies, when you are considering nose jobs and Botox and lip fillers. Somebody said, I wish people could just make peace with their bodies. We place too much importance on appearance these days and not enough on character, which is equally important for men and women. Women who only want to date tall dudes are missing out on some great guys. They're lost. Exactly, women do not discriminate against short kings because then they might feel provoked to go get limb lengthening surgery. We cannot allow that to happen. No, we did this. We're the cause of this. Somebody else said, this is insane. We need to stop pushing body disfigurement as a society. People are perfect as they are. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Example, in Dubai, there is more Botox lips than actual lips. And this guy's right. It is very rare to see people, especially online, who are totally natural these days and are very comfortable with it and embrace it. So I urge you to do the same and embrace it. You were designed this way for a reason. You do not need to go fill your face and your body with literal toxins. That's what Botox is. Artificial things like nose jobs in order to feel whole, to feel like a better version of yourself. You do not need to do that. You are totally unique, which is a good thing. Thanks for watching this episode of the comment section. I hope you enjoyed it and that you maybe even learned something. If you've not already, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss an episode.